A live look from a DOT traffic camera along I-35 in the Ankeny area and from Des Moines. The snow continues to fall in the metro and all across the state, covering the roads and making it tough to see in some places. The Iowa State Patrol is asking everybody to stay home. And KCCI has team coverage and Camp Alongo has the latest on road conditions in the metro. Scott Reister taking his sports hat off, covering the fun in the snow right here in the metro. Our Marcus McIntosh is live in Indianola for us tonight as well. But first, Chief Meteorologist Chris Gloninger has the latest on the snow totals here. Chris? It's been really ramping up since about 7 o'clock this evening as this storm basically develops on top of us. It was a storm that tested our patience. It was a waiting game south of Interstate 80 for that rain to change to snow. This is just over the last hour and there isn't a lot of movement. So let's take this out over the last five hours and you can see that that southern progress really has halted over the last couple of hours, meaning the snow that you see falling outside will likely continue through at least two o'clock in the morning into central Iowa, maybe even through four or five in the morning across the southern part of the state. We have heavy snow falling from Boone and Jefferson uh, into Coon Rapids through Ames, Slater down through Ankeny, Perry, Adele, you're picking up some very heavy snow, Redfield to Winterset, Indianola. You'll see Marcus in a second and see how the snow is adding up there. There are the double digit snowfall amounts and we'll likely see isolated spots that get to 13 or 14 inches closer to the Minnesota state line. As we go down, uh, we see amounts drop off a little bit, but Urbandale 8 inches, Fort Dodge over 7 inches, same into Ames, and now the west side of the metro at 7 inches, and we'll likely see it continuing for several more hours. Creston, one of the holdouts. You were waiting, you were messaging the weather team and asking what happened to the snow. It is dumping snow at about one to two inches per hour and you are making up for lost time and you will see some big totals out of this too. Temperature of 32, the wind chills at 20 and that snow is being blown around with that northeast wind at 18 miles per hour. This is on top of what we've seen already. Again, you saw the amounts of 9 to 12 inches across most of central Iowa. That was our forecast, but this is what we're expecting additional. So the totals that we've seen, we're adding on another 1 to 3 inches through Ames to the north side, maybe down towards Ankeny. The metro out through Waukee uh, south, that's where we're expecting 3 to 6 more inches, perhaps into including Lamoni as well. That is how much additional snow we're going to see. It'll be blowing and drifting around throughout the night and into the day. Coming up, we'll go hour by hour and show you when that back edge will clear the state and the best opportunity to get outside and clean it all up. That's in your storm to mate forecast. Thank you, Chris. Let's take a look at the road conditions now. The entire state has roads basically completely snow covered. We saw at 9 o'clock just south of the metro a little bit of green patches. You can see that basically gone across our state. The pink, which is 100% covered, now showing basically across the entire metro as well as southern portions across the state as well. KCCI meteorologist Ann Campolongo is in the metro to show us how the roads are looking out there tonight. Ann? <laughs> Yeah, and uh, things have gotten a lot worse from compared to earlier today. We started out in the storm chaser with my photographer Brandon around three and four o'clock today and things were OK, but obviously it's deteriorated a lot more now as we head into the evening and overnight hours. You can take a look behind me here. That's I-235 and uh, traffic is moving. Some cars going a little bit faster than others, but uh, it looks from here at least pretty much snow covered on the main interstates. We were up at Ankeny a little bit earlier this evening. Also pretty wintry driving conditions up that way on I-35 as well. Blowing snow here. We're in downtown Des Moines uh, near Edmonds Elementary School and we've got blowing snow winds gusting to about 30 miles per hour here. Uh, the snow has turned a little bit more light and it's a little fluffier now compared to earlier. Let's talk about the roads again uh, because we have this uh, handy dandy map on the back of the storm chaser here. Uh, this is pavement temperature. So earlier today they started off above freezing in some spots and now you can see uh, we're in the upper teens for road temperatures right now in most spots or low to mid 20s uh, road temperatures here in Des Moines close to 25 degrees. So once the road temperatures drop uh, below freezing and into the mid 20s, that's when you can 
obviously really get some sticking snow out on the roadways and uh, it's not really that slushy snow anymore it's basically all snow covered here at least in our location here in downtown Des Moines several inches on the ground where we are we'll take a closer look at the snow here and how much we're looking at currently that'll be coming up in just in a, just in a little bit for now we will send it back to you guys in the studio and thank you. Des Moines police have been busy this evening between five and nine o'clock. They responded to 14 crashes. Two had minor injuries. Six were hit and runs. The Iowa State Patrol has also been busy between five o'clock this morning and nine o'clock tonight. They helped more than 200 drivers responded to 78 crashes. People were hurt in 14 of those crashes. No deaths to report. One crash involved the state patrol squad car. A patrol lieutenant was helping with a crash near Mason City when a semi hit his squad car from behind. He's being checked out at a local hospital. This is what the squad car looked like after it was hit. Boy, there's a lot of damage there. He, we, luckily, we hear that the uh, sergeant's um, uh, injuries are minor. Right now, 21 counties in Iowa have tow bans, including Polk, Dallas, Story, Jasper, and Marshall. That means if you get in a crash, a tow truck will not come pull you out until that ban is lifted. The KCCI crews have been out all afternoon and evening across the state of Iowa, covering the snow as it falls. KCCI's Marcus McIntosh and photojournalist John Houghton are live in Indianola, south of the Des Moines metro area. Stacey and James, we're standing on the Indianola Town Square. We've been here since about 3.30 this afternoon. At that point, we saw somebody jogging, wearing a uh, stocking hat, a sweatshirt, and in short saying, hey, he's just doing his best thing. Now, that was before, though, the cold set in and the snow really started coming down because at that point, the snow was fairly light. The day turned into night, and a number of people were on the square shoveling the snow from in front of their businesses, pushing what was wet, heavy snow off of the sidewalk. As far as the traffic goes, that... that Wet heavy snow turned to slush underneath, making conditions slippery. Plows hit the streets once there were a, once there was a half inch of snow on the ground. People we spoke with say driving in these conditions takes adjusting attitudes, slowing down, proceeding with caution, and being smart. After all, they had plenty of warning the snow was coming, and they said that is a good thing. It's good, I think, for people to be aware so they can prepare and and be safe and prepared for the snow. Yeah. Okay. Now back here live, it's blowing snow down here on the Indianola Town Square. When we were here earlier, when we first got here, there wasn't a whole lot of snow on the ground. I'd say probably a good three, four inches on the ground now, and it just keeps coming down. We're going to be staying here for the next few minutes and have another report coming up. But until then, let's go live to Scott Reiser, who is in Des Moines. He's kind of taking a look at weather conditions there. Scott? Yeah, and the snow continues to just come down and come down hard as you take a look at the streets. Uh, pretty bad driving conditions out here as the accumulation kind of adds up. We've seen some plows going in and out. A couple cars been stuck. People coming out doing a little pushing. Uh, so definitely stay home if you can. We got our guy Matt over there clearing the streets down behind me. No, it, it hasn't been all bad though. I mean, with the snow also comes a lot of fun, especially at Waveland earlier today. Hey, you guys, come on. Why? Don't Why leave. Are you doing it? Why, Why not? not? You've been doing it all day. Jesus. All right, not everybody was having fun, but this uh, young girl eventually uh, got in on the fun. Uh, this young boy, Ben, maybe shouldn't have gone down that run. But hey, you know what? He bounced back because we're warriors here. We are working hard. Waveland, just one of the many spots across central Iowa and uh, really the Midwest, as so many people are going to be having some fun, taking advantage of the fun snow. People that consider it fun. There are some of us. us and take a look back down here in Des Moines, exactly how much snow we've been hearing Chris and Ann to talk about it. It just keeps going and going about seven and a half inches here, depending on exactly where you step, but it is just going to keep on getting more and more. Now coming up a little bit later on, no Friday night hoops. That's why, yeah, you're seeing your sports guy out here, but you know what? We're going to still make it happen with the help of one Central Iowa girls team. Until then, Scott Reister, live in Des Moines, back to you. Thank you, Scott. That's right. With all of the uh, the weather uh, that happened today, schools canceled, schools dismissed early and canceled their evening activities, including Friday night hoops. So Scott ha is helping us out with his uh, with storm coverage tonight. And also so is uh, KCCI sports reporter Jeff Dubroff. A number of flights set to arrive in the Des Moines airport have been canceled tonight. That's what you're looking at right here, including flights from Washington, St. Louis, Houston, Denver, Florida and Chicago. It's unclear if weather played a factor. We continue to cover the snow as it covers roads across the state. Another look at Iowa DOT camera at Interstate 235. 
I'd say that is completely snow covered, though you can see a couple of cars braving the trek there. Look to be at least driving okay on those snow covered roads. If you have to be out tonight, take it slow. And once again, we're looking at this loop over five hours and that back edge went from Minneapolis to Mason City in five hours. That's almost the same distance to Des Moines. So about five more hours of snow ahead. We'll talk much more about the amounts and the cold that follows in your storm teammate forecast.